Hello everyone, I'm Hazel, welcome to my channel. For those who don't know me, I'm a second year medical student in the UK. So today I'm going to show you another placement on secondary care in the ICU unit. So ICU stands for Intensive Care Unit or ITU which is Intensive Therapy Unit or CCU which is Critical Care Unit. So according to NHS, most people in ICU will have problems with one or more organs, for example they can't breathe on their own. And ICU units are usually staffed with specially trained nurses and other healthcare professionals and contain sophisticated monitoring equipment. So the nurses and other healthcare professionals working in the ICU units are very specially trained because most of the patients on the unit are critically ill and they usually require some special treatment and monitoring as opposing to the usual treatment. So there will normally be one nurse taking care of one or two patients and that's it. And that's why the resources in ICU units is very scarce it's not only because of we are lacking the beds, but also because we are lacking the staff who can actually take care of the patients. Because we can't admit a patient onto a bed without someone taking care of them. That will be even worse than treating them in a less intensive department. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what is happening in the unit and what I can learn from them. And in the afternoon, we will have a teaching about a CNS examination, which stands for Central Nervous System Examination, but basically it's Cranial Nerve Examination. And I will be showing you how we learn and practice our examination skills in the UK and with our student peers. So that's the topic of this video. Let's get started. So again, I'm taking my lunch and my latte in the back. Oh, just imagine how hard it is to film while doing everything with, with only one hand. <laughs> and in my bag, I'm also taking the iPad, scrubs and, and stethoscope as before. And in secondary care, it is necessary to bring our name badges, so not only authorised people can enter the ward. I'm also trying a new cereal bar, which I think is good. And this time, I'm taking a notepad because Using iPad to make notes is not very realistic on the ICU unit. So that one is just our bus. This is a free shuttle provided by the school specifically for transporting between the school's building and the teaching hospital. And this is the free ticket. So we've just finished our morning and now we're looking for somewhere to stay to have our lunch and probably it's some coffee shop like Costa or somewhere nice but we only have a half an hour until our afternoon teaching right now so we have to be in a rush actually appendicitis but it wasn't treated basically so uh, you can only treat appendicitis if it's five days after you start to uh, get, get the pain oh, that's so weird. I never and now that. they can't treat her because appendicitis it's inflamed but it's also attached to other organs so now the, her appendix is attached to the bowel it's attached to the ovary so you can't just take it out yeah. you have to do, take out everything basically so, so you can't 
Oh. So there's no surgery now for her, like no option. Nothing. Surgery. Just antibiotics. That's so bad. It's so bad. Like if if the GP thought it was appendicitis, they would send her and then they would take it out. Yeah. They didn't. They didn't do that. But then she was saying it's not the mistake of GP because they can't send every single patient with that pain to, you know, for, for surgery. Well, no, still, she was it's annoying. annoying. Yeah. But five days is very narrow, I think. So yeah, what they thought? Constipation and stuff. What UTI, they, they thought UTI, they prescribed antibiotics, they didn't work. Ah, uh, I, I felt like UTI wouldn't be that painful anyway. She didn't say, I mean, yeah. But it wasn't like lower UTI, right? It was pyelonephritis, the upper UTI, that because her pain was in the right ear for some going but up the back. That's different. So like, you know, will be flying pain will be more upper region, but appendicitis will be lower region. Mm -hmm. Maybe she didn't describe her pain very well. Could be. Yeah, but then in, initially she was just saying right ear for but then later on she could actually pinpoint the pain. So she was like, it's right there. That's what we learned today. Firstly, it's like just localized, like general pain. Then you can actually pinpoint it. Oh, I think that's big because of the nervous system. Yeah, parietal, of the GI tract. parietal peritoneum affected later. Mm. We did revise anatomy as well, which was so good. You know the hernia that we did in first year? Oh, I yeah. forgot and everything about okay. indirect, direct. Oh, yeah. She went over it again. So good. Yeah. What did you do? You were doing. Just a bunch of random things, you know? Don't look at me. I'm, I'm not talking right now. Okay, okay, okay. You can My eat. mouth is all okay. right. <laughs> You were just talking about like so many random things. So consciousness, the GPS boost. Did this up you as well? I was just going over lung pathology again yesterday and I had forgotten everything. everything. There was benign lung pathology. You're really on blue everything red, now. And just pleura and then malignant as well. It's small cells all and then large cells. Yeah. And then which large is more common? Small is more common. Non-small cell carcinoma. More common, yeah. Because it's squam either squamous or what's the other one? What? Non-small is either squamous cell carcinoma. Adenocarcinoma. Adenoma. Adenocarcinoma. Brain is such a finite space. How do you put everything? Is that something? Some you put in something, some things. Yeah. The other thing is that's, that is what is happening. <laughs> so now we're going to the afternoon teaching. Hopefully it's done early so we can get back home early. Halfway, so you're essentially comparing your visual field to your patients. Can you hear that? It's not formal, yeah, but you'll 
assessment, like it was having the optometrist, where it was really sticky head and that thing, and like getting to ask them and obviously some old fashioned, but also some gross assessment essentially. So the way that I was going to do it is probably the same eyes yeah. that they should. Can I do it again? Make sure that you can see it, because if you can yeah. see it, then you'll have to do it. I wish I was able to do Generally, like, that's really difficult. Can you, can you do it one more time? Sorry. Yeah, really <laughs> the first one. But they sound different because I went on very soon. Oh, yeah. 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 So this is dinner. I've just cooked some rice and some leftover veggies. And this is an egg. And there are some other grilling cheese for protein because I really like them to be honest. So I feel like this portion is probably too much for me because I was just heating all of the leftovers and I probably can't finish all of them. Mm, so that's it, a really healthy dinner. Sorry, this is a this is a correct presentation of the grill and cheese. Properly grilled. The last one was the lazy one. And another thing is that I have bought this cookie and cream cheesecake from Morrison's today, which I'm really excited to try. Because just from that name, it looks delicious, doesn't it? So I'm really excited to test how this tastes like. <laughs>